Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me showing you through my capsule wardrobe and all of the different staple items that I have in it. So these are essential wardrobe items that I have been curating kind of most of my life, but more specifically over the last 12 months. And that is so that I have an outfit for every occasion. And I never feel like I don't have something to wear because I have definitely been that person that was standing in front of their wardrobe tearing their hair out, not knowing what to wear or feeling like I had nothing. And we obviously don't have nothing. Many of us are very lucky to have a full wardrobe of clothes, but it's just about knowing what to do with them and how to kind of pull your pieces together to create some really effortless and timeless looks. And these are things that can really take you from corporate to weekend or day to night. And I'm really excited to show you all of the different pieces that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. And these really just do fill up the core foundation of my wardrobe so I find myself doing less and less online shopping because I'm only looking to kind of introduce items into my wardrobe that are going to complement my existing collection so that's what we're going to be doing today so I hope this really inspires you to get in and do a little bit of an order on your wardrobe and just find some pieces that really make you look and feel your absolute best just a super quick reminder if you are new here don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and why not consider subscribing I put up new videos every single week now let's get into it and I can show you all of my favorite staple wardrobe item pieces. Now the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is shoes. And this is definitely by no means an exhaustive list because I have a lot of shoes, but these are some of my favorite pairs at the moment. And they are definitely some great wardrobe staples that just go with absolutely everything. So in terms of a really good casual daytime shoe and something that is ultra comfortable and you may or may not hate this in terms of style, but I've learned to love them are Birkenstocks. So I've just got a simple black pair of these slides. These are not Birkenstock brand ones. They're just a copy of. But these are so great for just pairing with some jeans, some casual pants, a dress, whatever. And they are so comfortable and easy to walk around in. And they kind of look really cool because they're a little bit of more of a chunky style shoe. And anything that is going to add volume in terms of hair or, you know, an accessory or shoes or anything like that is also going to elongate your other features. So it really is just a little bit of a complimentary look and you will be walking everywhere in extreme comfort if you have a pair of those shoes. Now on the other end of the spectrum, my absolute favorite pair of heels are these ones from Bellini. So these are just a really simple slide pair of heels. So they actually don't have a um, ankle strap. I was about to say wrist strap, but ankle strap. And they're a really nice heel. So they're kind of a really good balance between block heels, which I'm sure all of you have got really used to walking in in the last few years. I certainly have. And I feel like wearing a pair of stilettos is an art that you have to get reintroduced to and reused to again, because we were blessed with the block heel trend for many, many years. But these ones are kind of this sort of shape. So they're the happy medium between the two. And these are actually so incredibly comfortable and they're a perfect shoe for, you know, work, the weekend, anything. And because you can just slide them on, they are really effortless to get into. Even if you were driving somewhere and you've got to pop them on before you jump out of the car. Another classic pair of shoes that I absolutely love is a white sneaker to go with absolutely anything. And these are really great yet again for a weekend look or a casual Friday at the office. So I have these white classic sneakers from Lacoste and these are really affordable ones as well. And what I loved about them is they are very slim line. So these were my favorite type of white sneaker because a lot of the other ones have really big chunky soles. And I just wanted something that was a little bit more slender because that's kind of more my style. I'm not into the huge chunky sneaker look, but I think if you can find the perfect pair of white sneakers for you, whether they be high top style, tennis shoes, a leather sneaker, chunky sneakers, whatever works for you, they are just the best staple shoe to pair with almost anything. And my final one, being a Melbourne girl, is a great pair of black ankle boots. So to mix it up this year, I ended up going with a patent pair of boots instead. So these are my current ankle boots and they are from Joe Mercer. So I absolutely love these. They just have a zip on the back. And the reason I love these is because the gloss kind of look of the patent finish is just so eye catching. And even if you've got an all black outfit on or just some jeans or something, it makes you look 
really put together and it definitely elevates a look from a more casual look with just standard leather boots and these ones in particular are a great style because again they have a pointed toe which to me always indicates a little bit more of a dressier look even though the boots are just as comfortable as any other type of shoe so those are my four favorite staple kind of shoes that are in my wardrobe and let me know yours down below in the comments, but now let's get into the clothing section. So I just wanted to take a quick moment to introduce you to an app extension on Google Chrome, which is what I've been using when doing all of this online shopping to curate my staple wardrobe, and that is Cooper. So a quick thank you to Cooper for sponsoring this portion of the video. Cooper is an extension that you can simply add to your Google Chrome browser, and it is so handy. So it literally just takes two clicks to add this to your Chrome browser. You you literally just need to add to Chrome and then use the extension and this is so handy because every single online store you shop at you can literally just select it it will search the internet for any coupon codes and if there's one to apply to your cart it will add to cart and you'll instantly get savings so for example I used this the other day and it was able to get me 25% off so I've been saving hundreds of dollars using Cooper and it is just such a handy extension it is absolutely incredible and the best part is it's completely free so you can download Cooper today and be able to have it doing all the hard work for you and finding discount codes pretty much anywhere on the internet so that you can save hundreds of dollars on your online shopping. So I will leave all of the details for Cooper in the description box down below and you can use my link to find it and download for yourself today. So my favorite kind of outfits are ones that are really easy to put together. And that means I don't have to think too much and it's just going to look and feel good when I'm wearing it. So a perfect staple item for me is a leather skirt. And I don't just mean that in one color. So I will show you my classic one first. So this is just a black leather skirt and these can be styled in so many different ways. So this one just has a simple zip on the back and for this black leather skirt, I can style it with anything from a singlet top to a black turtleneck and some gold jewelry and even a pair of heels or ankle boots depending on the weather and also the best bit about leather skirts is they are usually comfortable enough that you can chuck a pair of stockings underneath as well if it's really cold and you do need to cover your legs so I absolutely love this it is really really soft and this particular one is vegan leather so it was actually really affordable and I just picked it up at H&M the next item I want to show you is another leather skirt but in a different color to black and I think it's really great if you can introduce a different colored leather skirt into your wardrobe to kind of get out of your comfort zone. So I also do have one in tan, but these are my ones that are on high rotation as staple items at the moment. So this is the latest addition to my wardrobe and it is a leather skirt in a khaki green kind of color. And I absolutely love this because I definitely think there is a trend towards earthy tones at the moment, but I also don't really like trend based buying. So I know that this is going to be a classic staple that I can keep in my wardrobe for years to come. This one was also from H&M. It's very affordable and it is also vegan leather as well. The way that I would style this green skirt is either with white if I want a bit more of a refreshing trans seasonal look or with my classic black because I do wear a lot of black. So kind of the whole point of getting a different color leather skirt was to stop myself from wearing an all black outfit and get a little bit out of my comfort zone with something that is in an entirely different tone. So this one is a beautiful olive kind of color and yet again I would style it very similarly with a top or turtleneck and some boots or heels or something like that. Another great wardrobe staple to take you from day to night and even just from a casual hangout with friends to date night is a printed skirt. And I've been really getting back into wearing skirts a lot recently and that is just to do with really connecting in with a bit more of my feminine energy. And I do really love wearing dresses and skirts and other bottoms and things as well but I found myself the last few years really really heading towards pants and that does have to do with the fact that I live in Melbourne and it's pretty cold here most of the year but also just the fact that I was finding them more comfy but I think I just didn't have the right kind of skirt collection so this one is really beautiful and it is this printed black and white floral skirt which I picked up from Cook Eye and I really love it because of the detailing on the bottom so it does have a little flip and flare out on the bottom and it's just a very classic black and white skirt so yet again 
it is a print, but it's a print that will definitely not go out of fashion. So same with kind of polka dots and some of those classic kind of skirt prints. I think you're pretty safe if you're buying a option like that for your wardrobe that you'll be able to pair it with different things for many years to come. The last staple item in terms of skirts is my absolute favorite and that is a black silky skirt so i've got this really classic kind of midi but longer length one and this was just from asos so i did have a cheaper kind of version of this skirt but it was more midi to the knee and because i am five foot eleven i really needed to find one that was longer and would just kind of elongate my features and my body and really suit me so i sold that one and replaced it with this one and this is just much more a better wardrobe staple for me so the way that I would style this is with pretty much any shoes from sneakers on a casual day and a t-shirt to a singlet top or or even with a blazer over the top of it for a more corporate look at work. And I absolutely love these because they are very comfortable, but they look super put together. And it's something that you can wear even from winter through to summer, just depending on how warm you kind of want to be and how put together you really want to look, because this is a perfect piece that I would say can take me from day to night. Now to get on to pants for the other kind of series of the bottoms that are my staple items in the wardrobe. And for that, I have two of my favorite pairs of jeans. So first of all, I have a classic blue wash pair of denim. And I think the most important thing about a pair of jeans is firstly that they fit you around the waist. So I know that I have a much smaller waist and a bit of a booty. So I usually end up getting my jeans tailored and just bear in mind that that might be the way that you can get denim to best fit you because for years and years I went through so many different brands of denim and I could never find a perfect pair that just fit me and that is simply because I just don't have a typical um, I guess fit model body. I just have my own body and that's the same for all of us really So I just did myself a favor and found a really good tailor and now anytime I find something that I really want And it just doesn't quite fit me I simply just take it to her and I get them taken in so that I have my own kind of custom fit of jeans So I know that can add a little bit of cost on but it's just an option if you're never able to find something that really suits your body so for me at the moment, my staple item are these kind of wash of jeans, which is just a classic white blue, uh, light blue, sorry, denim wash. And I really, really love these. And they're just a little bit more of a relaxed fit, which is definitely on trend now. Although I do still love skinny jeans as a bit of a style too, but maybe that's me showing my age. I'm not sure. <laughs> So my other pair of jeans are skinny jeans and they are a classic black skinny jean, which I think just goes with absolutely everything. The only problem with black jeans, I guess, is you sort of need to be conscious of limiting the amount of times you wash them because they do start to fade and lose their color quicker than other items of clothing. So just something to bear in mind. I kind of do find myself having to replace my black jeans yearly so if you know any amazing denim brands where this kind of color fade doesn't really happen then please let me know but i feel like it must just be a feature of denim as a material itself so these ones are my classic jeans and they are from levi's and it is my favorite jeans brand so levi strauss and they are just the best jeans ever. They fit me like an absolute glove. And these ones, I have to tell you, I didn't need to get tailored. So these ones just perfectly fit me because they have a little bit of elastine in the material. So they have a little bit of that added stretch. Another great staple item that I have in my wardrobe in terms of bottoms are some leather look pants. Now, I'm not daring enough to go and get a full pair of leather pants and I just don't think they would be as flattering on me, but I do have these kind of wet look pants and I absolutely love them. So these ones were just from White Fox and they have an elasticized waist on them and they simply just zip up at the back. So I absolutely love these for a night out kind of look. So I feel like you could kind of get away with them on a Friday if your office isn't too corporate. So definitely at my workplace, um, well, I'm an architect, so we're creatives and it's really great because our dress code is kind of relaxed corporate if you will it's like you can really interpret that how you want to and as long as you're looking professional then you can kind of dress and express yourself in the way you want which is something that I absolutely love about my job because I know that some workplaces definitely have much stricter work um, dress codes sorry so yeah I just feel really really lucky that we are able to experiment a little bit more so I just love the look of these pants I think they're really sexy and 
These ones in particular kind of cinch the waist in a little bit, but they could also be dressed down with some sneakers to look casual as well. Now, if you have a little bit more of an hourglass shape like me, then I find flare pants, which are kind of a bit of a trend, but I think something that you could just keep in your wardrobe for a really long time. And I love these pairs. So I just got a pair of ASOS and the best bit about ASOS is they have a tall section as well. So I have bought all of these items myself, by the way, this is not sponsored at all. So these are my honest opinions from a tall girl just trying to find some amazing wardrobe staples so I get mine in the tall from their brand and I usually find they're quite generous so even though I would normally wear a size 8 um, I often go for a 10 in bottoms if I'm worried that they're going to be tight um, and so in these ones I was able to go for an 8 because again they have a lot of stretch in the material so they're a little bit more generous and these ones are in a bit of a suit pant kind of material so they are definitely great to wear with a crop for a nighttime kind of look or just with a cami and a blazer over the top for an office look so they're another favorite of mine and I always find myself reaching for them because they are so comfortable but they look really chic and dressed up as well the last wardrobe staple that I want to show you from my bottoms collection and of course like I said it's not exhaustive I do have a lot of other options but these ones are just my key staple items that I find myself reaching for all the time and that is just a pair of black leggings so you can get them from so many places if you want to go kind of more like average end I guess there is H&M, uh, Zara, there's cotton on all sorts of places that you could go and shop for these ASOS you know any of those kind of brands and all I was looking for was a thick pair of regular black leggings that I could style with some boots whether that be ankle boots or knee-high boots and a shirt over the top with a belt to cinch it in and that is one of my favorite looks that I usually go for all year round because I find this is a really great one for in the office if I want to wear a shirt and feel a little bit more put together but you're secretly wearing leggings underneath and it is so unbelievably comfortable and also warm so as long as you find a pair of leggings that aren't see-through so definitely do the squat test if you are buying them like online or in store or whatever or get a friend to give you a really honest opinion if you can see through the back of them because I know that we're all probably have been walking around sometime and thinking oh I really need to tell the girl in front of me that I can see through her leggings so that's why I usually wear a long shirt over them just to kind of avoid that but if you know any amazing legging brands as well, please drop them down in the comments below because I'm always, always looking and I just love them for restyling in this kind of more corporate way. Okay, if I look a little bit more alive, I just realized halfway through filming this that I was filming without wearing any mascara. <laughs> so I've just gone and popped some on. So let's continue. And I hope that I don't look really bad in the first half of this video because I completely forgot to put it on. So into some of my favorite staple basics in terms of tops, I just feel like there are four color singlet tops or just tops in general that you could have. And they don't even need to be expensive, just good quality ones so you're not constantly replacing them and that is a gray singlet so I've just got this ribbed one from H&M it's just a very simple nice gray singlet and I usually go for one with slightly thicker straps so that there's the option to wear a bra underneath if I want to and I also have a very similar top from them also in white and this one is also ribbed and just a very simple again simple silhouette of just a white singlet top and I've got that in a ribbed material. I think a little bit of a ribbed material is a bit more flattering than a plain singlet sometimes. If I get plain singlets, I prefer to get them from Cook Eye or somewhere that does them in a little bit of a thicker fabric. So that is my white one. I also have a beige or nude color singlet. Again, this is also in a ribbed color material. And I just feel like these go with absolutely everything. So like I said, with the four different colors, you can pair them with pretty much anything I've shown you and they are just really great base level staples I also have in a cook eye top like I just said a black singlet top so this one again with some slightly thicker straps and this is a solid sort of shiny material so this is a really great one for pairing with a skirt or something and it's just really good because it looks a little bit more put together than some cotton ones if you want a slightly more dressed up look 
One of my other classic favorite tops that I feel like everybody should have if you're looking for that perfect day to night look is a silk cami. So I've got this beautiful one that I just picked up from H&M and it is lovely. It's got this lovely lace detailing on the top and some buttoning and things down the back. And this was a very inexpensive wardrobe update to an old cami that I had. And I just feel like camis are such a beautiful classic piece and something that you could just wear week in and week out and nobody would kind of get at you for outfit repeating because it's just such a gorgeous classic piece. Now on that note as well, my opinion on outfit repeating is just do it. Like none of us are kind of sitting there judging somebody thinking they wore that dress last week. I think if you have a really well put together staple wardrobe, it means that you are more contributing to a culture of slow fashion. And that's something that we can all try and do our part in. I know that we are a definitely a very consumer driven society, but I feel like by doing an exercise like creating a staple wardrobe that is much more curated to your style and you know, just gathering a bunch of pieces, it really helps to not kind of be constantly forever shopping or trying to find other items just to fill a void in a wardrobe. So that was another consideration of mine when doing this as well. It was just to slow down my contribution sort of to that retail environment, I guess. So the last top that I want to show you is a classic black turtleneck. So I will try this on for you so that you can see how I've styled it, but I absolutely love this and I just think it goes with absolutely everything. Again, in a ribbed fabric, which is very, very soft and luxe. And I just think it is the perfect winter piece to not kind of get that cold chill around your neck on an early morning. A recent favorite wardrobe staple that I will be hanging on to for years to come are these fluffy jumpers. So I've got this lovely one in beige, which I got from Princess Polly, and it's this lovely furry kind of material. These were relatively inexpensive and it is just so soft and something that is really, really easy to chuck on, whether it be for the weekend or work and just look really put together. So that is me absolutely done for my winter sweater buying. And I just think they are so beautiful. I also got one off ASOS, which is in white. And again, it is that lovely furry kind of material. And I just think this looks so beautiful. It's extremely plush. It just makes you feel really, really warm and cuddly. And it's just a lovely, lovely piece to add to your wardrobe if you're thinking, you kind of want to look a little bit more done up than wearing just your active wear out on the weekend, but you still want to be really comfortable and warm. My absolute go-to dress that I think everybody could have in their wardrobe too, and this is a piece that can be for summer or winter, just depending on how you style it, is a black slip dress. So I've got this black slip dress, which I just picked up a couple of years ago. And whether you get one in satin or silk, depending on your budget, they are just so beautiful. So mine has the classic thin spaghetti straps on top and I would pair this with absolutely anything whether it be on its own with some heels and jewelry to get really done up otherwise I could pair it down with a blazer over the top and some ankle boots maybe even a belt over the top to cinch in the waist and another way to wear it is with a t-shirt underneath or even a turtleneck underneath for a bunch of extra warmth I just think this is one of the most versatile pieces in my wardrobe, similar to the black silky looking skirt as well. And it is just an incredible piece that I've honestly had in my wardrobe personally for five years now. So it's definitely something that will always be in style, I think, and just a really great piece to add to your wardrobe. We are almost there, but I did want this to be a really comprehensive video so I can show you from every portion of my wardrobe what my staple items are. So just quickly on the accessories, front. I really do love a good skinny belt and they certainly don't need to be expensive ones. Of course, my dream would be an Hermes Kelly belt. I think they are just gorgeous. But in the meantime, I just have some cheap kind of boutique fashion sort of store belt. So I have this black and gold one, which is just a nice little thin waist belt. And this one was just from H&M and it was only a couple of dollars. So I would wear that with so many different things to cinch in the waist. I also have the exact same belt in this snake print just to add a little bit of interest to an outfit if it happens to be something really plain. And another thing is just this bag. So 
This is a classic style of bag. I feel like these were the 90s kind of sling shoulder bags and I absolutely love this one. Again, this is a really great weekend into the evening sort of bag. It fits quite a lot in it and I love the short strap length because it means that you can just literally chuck it on and have it feeling secure while you're walking around. The last thing that I wanted to cover off in this video is outerwear. So that means some jackets and something that has been mentioned by me a lot in this video is a classic black blazer. So I have this classic black blazer from DeCuba. I get my blazers in a long line style and I really do prefer just a matte looking cotton material. I don't want anything shiny or too fancy, just something that can really be paired back, whether it be a corporate day look or a weekend casual look. And I think blazers are the absolute perfect way to add a touch of class um, to an outfit and just look a little bit more put together. Another really classic wardrobe staple, and I guess this is climate dependent, but I do feel like it does get a little bit cold pretty much anywhere in the world. So all of us could do with having the perfect leather jacket. So my leather jacket is in a little bit of a cropped style. I also opted for one which had a slight bit of elastic on the sleeve. So it's a little bit more comfortable to wear. And I just think that a classic leather jacket is never going to go out of fashion, but it also doesn't mean that you just have to have one leather jacket in your collection. So this one is a little bit more of a feminine looking leather jacket and I really do love that. But I would also look to add something, I guess with a little bit more hardware and maybe a bit more of a biker style to my collection one day too. The last item I wanted to talk about and my absolute favorite wardrobe staples as a pair of outerwear are trench coats. So I've got one in black and one in cream and these get worn to death. I wear them absolutely everywhere and depending on the material and the lining and things as well you can get ones that are quite warm but also breathable so my trench coats are just one of my favorite things to wear. They look so classic and put together that they're good enough to wear to the office or getting around town if it's during the work week, but also as a really relaxed look on the weekend paired down with some jeans and sneakers. So trench coats are definitely one of my absolute favorite pieces. And I think a classic trench has been around for absolutely years and years. If you look at any of the beautiful fashion houses like Burberry as an example, their trench coats are just a real classic wardrobe staple. So I certainly don't have the budget to be purchasing one from there, but these ones were just from Portman's and Princess Polly respectfully, and I absolutely love them. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed going through my staple wardrobe with me and seeing all of the different pieces from, I guess each different category that I have curated and put together and how I style them in all the different ways. I hope this has been really helpful to you guys and if you wear these in a different way that you think looks better, then please let me know because I am just going off Pinterest pictures and other fashion bloggers. And I think we're all just constantly sharing ideas of different things. And like I said, what makes you look and feel your best. And that is definitely very individual. And we really should all focus on celebrating our individual style. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.